Wholeness. Beautiful beings, welcome to my channel. My name is Rashida Silvertree and let's get started with our reading. During this introduction, I just wanna give a shout out to all of my subscribers and those of you who are engaging with me. You're leaving very lovely, very insightful um, and well thought out comments or um, commentary to the messages that I am uploading. I really, really appreciate it. It gives me the encouragement that I need to proceed because as you all know, with cycles and seasons in life, you know, you have certain setbacks or you have certain, you take certain initiatives and it's just a huge flux of, of energy throughout um, the year. So um, I wanted to really uh, give my gratitude and thanks to you. So thank you so much. So. Um, before we jump into this, I know I've done several different styles of readings um, with my runes that I have, give you just a general um, overview of how this reading will uh, flow. So I have decided to stick with the medicine wheel layout. The medicine wheel deals with the seasons and cycles. It deals uh, of, of life, okay, of a year. Um, it deals with the five elements. Um, it deals with the, um, just the, it, it gives a, a certain structure that can help you comprehend what I'm trying to convey to you. Um, so again, take what resonates. No, this isn't primarily, my readings will not focus on astrology or the lunar calendar. I know my past readings I've dealt with um, using new moon and full moon as a way to um, to uh, attract audiences, but I feel that moving forward, I must move in the most honest, authentic, genuine, and sincere way possible. And the medicine wheel to me resonates with my spirit. It's been given to me and shown to me that that's how I should go about um, connecting with you all and connecting, being the conduit that I am, of, of delivering transmissions and messages through this type of energy work. Um, I don't use Oracle card decks and I do not use uh, tarot. Um, however, I am designing my own um, system. And um, so please uh, pardon this. I know it looks pretty uh, basic pen and paper, but the, I just would like you to pay attention um, to the message at hand and take what resonates, please. Um, but the design, the project I'm working on right now would will give um, a deeper um, meaning um, to um, my energy readings. And there is, uh, to me, nature, using animals, using wood, using runes, um, making it very mother nature based type of energy readings, okay? Um, so that's my goal um, and may you, uh, uh, receive this message and may this message find you well and whole. Let's get started. All right, so let's see here. I'm gonna light the candle here. I hope everyone is doing well. A lot of crazy, a lot, you know, with this human collective readings, I, I very much prefer because um, it's it's easier to go about this this way. I don't, I primarily avoid doing readings um, for signs and, and whatnot because you're just pretty much, it's, it's you're, you're predicting someone's future. And some of us are strong enough in our practice to where we don't really need to rely on the predictions of other people because we study that our inner world and external world ourselves. That takes a lot of practice, it takes a lot of experience, and it takes a lot of discipline to pay attention to your own inner patterns. I've made videos discussing this. So, um, yeah, so I, I typically, I love the human collective type of style because it's, it's not primarily so set on just, you know, specific time frame. I want you to be able to read and to connect with the, the um, messages that I have for you any time, any day of the week or year. Um, you know, so yeah, so I have salt here, okay, as a way of um, purifying the space. 
and clarifying anything that may be coming through that's possibly not all that helpful. Um, I'll tend to clear out this saw after every end of um, each season. So let's say like, yeah, from January 1st to March 31st, you know, that's the season of the earth that we're entering into. But this reading, we're recovering all 12 months of the Gregorian calendar. So yes, my readings are based off of the, the Gregorian calendar. All right, so let's light some sage here. We do have the element of fire, earth, and air. Water is not present at the moment, but I'll, you know, source will show me the best way to represent that element in the readings. Okay, um, this is a language of light crystal that I use um, as an amplifier. Typically, I don't use tons of uh, uh, crystals um, in my personal practice, but I've always been very attracted to diff the different kinds of quartz crystals. They're beautiful amplifiers, and they're to me, they're keys of consciousness that can help amplify your practice or whatever you're trying to do energetically. All right? Okay. And my runes are placed in a wooden box. I just thought that that'd be more fitting. Here on this um, map here, we have earth energy, we have air energy, water at the bottom, fire at the bottom, okay? And to me, the earth represents the body, the physical reality, air represents the mind um, and the breath, um, and then water represents emotions um, and the subconscious mind. Fire represents creativity, life force energy, sexual, sensual, creative life force energy, okay? Um, and th these are just, it's just a basic overview. I will make videos diving deeper into um, elemental magic or elemental energy manipulation, okay? We all are, all, we're, the human collective is made up of the earth, fire, water, air, Ether, okay, ether's in the middle. I forgot to put that in there. All right, so let's get started with the reading, okay? So the title of the reading is 2024, Year of the Spider, Web of Illusion. 2024, so I like to include numerology into my readings. Um, I just use the system for one to nine, okay? Zero is absolute, so, but one to nine. So 2024, you have two plus zero plus two plus four. That equals eight. Eight is infinity. Eight is um, the, the flow, if you will, okay? And eight is in the shape of the spider. In some cultures, cultures around the world, we have um, the spiders that is symbolic of creativity or the web of life, all, the, the beginning of all creation. Okay, so we have the web of creation um, and, you know, with the web, there's, there, it, it's almost like you, it's all interconnected. It, it's symbolic of all that is connected. Okay, so I'm going to pull for the center here for the ether, which I <laughs> forgot to make a little, you know, space for that, but I'm just going to go in here. Wow, okay. I'm hearing flame. Flame. So the higher consciousness, the ether of the, our, our human collective is the flame, an internal flame, inner know it, the knowing, inner knowledge, um, inner fire. Um, in one of my videos, I talked about the um, infinite inner light. So that is at the core of next year. Okay, in infinite inner light is the center. It is the core of our human collective, the evolution of our human collective in this next Gregorian calendar. All right, and I will make a video on Saint uh, Gregory too, um, and why we we use the, the the Gregorian calendar. 
but back to the topic at hand. So we have the infinite inner light. The infinite inner light is our, our power, our source of uh, how we can connect from higher realms um, or lower realms or just consciousness itself and how we deliver that light to others. And in that video, I talked about how we can misuse it. People can try to abuse it, but what's most important is discernment and clarity that can help you properly use the infinite inner light that is within. Okay. And for those of us that are highly empathic or psychic or a medium, or we just have spiritual gifts or maybe not, maybe, you know, you just feel pulled to, to certain areas and paths in your life. You, it's, it's, you have to develop that connection with the infinite inner light. All right. So that is the core of next year. Um, many of us will have to where uh, our light bodies, our light consciousness, if you will, and I'm not saying weightlessness, our L-I-G-H-T, I'm saying our light, like a power source. Um, <clears throat> the web of illusion, okay? When you have a web of illusion, um, the web of, of illusion starts off with, you take something false, and you build off of that falsehood. And so you build an illusion on top of an illusion, on top of an illusion, on top of an illusion, until you don't really know what's what. And it's very difficult to have or gain clarity. It's very difficult to, um, to have discernment between what is right, what is wrong, what is good, what is uh, evil, where you know the the wearing the rose tinted glasses okay that's what's taking place and has been taking place for a very long time but next year will be the deconstruction of the web picture a sweater this beautiful elegant sweater it's your favorite sweater that you wear but all of a sudden it has a snag and you can't quite fix the snag and the thread becomes loose. But what's happening is that the spider, okay, the spider spirit is pulling at the thread. She's almost like, I'm undoing all of this. I'm undoing a program. I'm undoing what does not serve. I'm undoing my creation. It's almost like going backwards, but not quite. It's a deconstruction. So so this, our sacred spider is is unraveling something is unfolding and unraveling at this time okay and so meaning the illusions are beginning to break down um now the perfect example of this that and how this is being manifested to and through the human collective is through our entertainment industry our entertainment industry is a mirror it mirrors back to us the void and the illusions within ourselves and so if you um, haven't caught wind on the P. Diddy situation, the, the R&B uh, rap artist mogul um, uh, who has pretty much, it, it's, it's pretty dark, it's pretty dark, okay? Um, and all of these uh, very powerful patriarchal um, uh, players, okay, in the program are being lit on fire, okay? <laughs> Pretty much like being there, there, that light that I'm talking about is, is shining directly into their darkness and into their illusion that they've built for the masses. This is also what this flame is talking about at the core, at our, at our core of ourself, the ether of ourself. Um, as a human collective. And so the entertainment industry is going through a debacle. And also the spider is, is symbolic for creativity right? Look at how the entertainment industry is literally like collapsing on itself. Where is the originality? Where's the creativity? Where is the, the original ideas and authenticity and sincerity? Where's the genuine messages that of art and, and artistic expression? 
we've known for the past 10, 15, 20 years, that the remakes are out of control. They keep replaying and, 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 and revamping old concepts um, and artistic concepts and old movies and old songs over and over and over. It's almost like it's recycled to the point where people are becoming numb to it. We're bored of it. There's no originality in the mainstream industry we call the entertainment. And, and, and so in our, in film in music in dance in everything, TikTok or social media, same way. You have people come up with one creative dance and then it's, it, it gets recycled hundreds and thousands, probably millions of times by, by different people, but they do the same dance. Something will be lit up within you, your inner your, um, I'm sorry, your infinite inner light of creativity will be sparked next year, 2024. And if you are committing yourself to falsehoods, to a web of illusions, that will be caught on fire. It will melt away. That's what's happening. Let's move on to the earth energy here. The earth collective. Now earth stands for the material world, finances, bone health, um, uh, physical health, um, cars, uh, transportation, travel. Um, earth is, is your foundation. Earth um, is tied to the root chakra, right? Your earth star, earth star is your life purpose, the path that you're on, whether you're conscious or unconscious of it. Let's take a look and see what symbol, what room wants to be expressed. Here we go. Ooh, I see. I'm, I'm hearing spine. You see the spine there? Backbone. Okay, so between the months of January and March of 2024, it's, it's about strengthening. It's about also climbing a ladder. You can't skip steps in January, February, March of next year. You cannot skip steps, okay? Try your very, very hardest to, to um, to be diligent, okay? And being diligent. Um, but the first phrase I heard was growing a spine or, or strengthening the spine, okay? So on a very visceral level, those of you might need to, you know, look at your spine health, your bone health, how you're standing, how you're supporting yourself, Financially, how are you su supporting yourself mentally, emotionally, spiritually? Some of us don't, some of us lack a spine. Some of us are so deep in the web of illusion that we're very easily swayed when it comes to opinions. Opinions have become facts. Facts have become opinions. And so it's very easy to convey certain ideologies to the human collective with no spine. Someone says, I agree with A, so that means everyone goes with A. Or I, I, I disagree with, with, with B, so I'm gonna go, you know, with C. Or I wanna go left, everyone goes left. I wanna go right, everybody goes right. And those that oppose this web of illusion and oppose this and they have a spine, they can stand on their own two feet, they, their, their earth star is activated. You have to be very strong during this time in 2024. Very, very strong. And I must reiterate, the spider is the, the spider is the symbolic of creative life force energy. So when you are standing on your earth, your earth, our earth energy, 
Okay, beginning January 1st. All right. Um, know that it, if you're opposing an idea, it'd be best that you have a backup plan. If you're opposing a system, it'd be best that you have a backup plan. If you're opposing a, a cultural stance or a system or paradigm that's part of the collective, it'd be best that you have something to, to support you. Because a lot of the time when we're standing up against something or we're just not, it doesn't resonate with us and ideology doesn't resonate with us. We like, for example, people will go on strike. Okay. They'll go on strike and that means, you know, against the company or something like that. And that means they're not receiving payment, <laughs> right? They're not getting paid because they're going on strike. They're missing out. So it's almost like you're digging yourself out of a hole to fall into another hole. When you're digging yourself out of a hole, make sure that wherever you land is a strong foundation to hold you. All right, next, <clears throat> air. So at the beginning of April 1st to June 30th, 30th? I think, or 31st, June 30th. Between April and June, this is the air energy that's coming through. Again, air is about breath. It's about all about the mind. It is technology. It is digital. It is cerebral. It's thought forms, thinking, ideas, um, inspiration. It is the ability to become present, right? When we are breathing correctly, we are present. We're in the now, okay? So let's see what we have here. Ooh. We have the new moon. So during this time, April, um, May, and June, um, I'm not getting great energy here. Um, it's a mystery, number one. Something unknown and also possibly one of the new moons. Be very... Um, Get in tune with your mind and where your mental where your mental status or your mentality is each new moon. So the new moon in April, the new moon in um, May, and the new moon in June. Be just check in with yourself around that time when the new moon portal opens. Check in with your intentions. Check in with your thought forms. Check in with what you're consuming into your mind. Make sure your mental health. Like you're, you're in tune with your mental health because I'm seeing like there's a mystery there. There's something unknown and secretive, okay? Just be very, very clear um, during that time. I'm not getting anything else. Okay, I'm being asked to pull one more. So one more energy here. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, I got this. So the... This is um, symbolic for beauty, for bliss. Be careful not to be get blissed out during April, May, and June. I see, um, hmm. Be careful with, with new opportunities that may come, abundance that may come. Be sure that you take your time and don't rush. With, see, what's so funny about the air element is that it, it can move very quickly. It, it's very unstable energy, right? We're going from earth to air. And so earth is very like stable and strong, but the air energy is completely just in flux. And so anything that comes that the wind, the air blows into your life, it can blow it out of your life as well. So try not to be too attached. Try to practice non-attachment and to be the ultimate observer, you know, in meditation. Just meditate on these, on, on, um, or pray on certain things that come into, that are blown into your life because I'm, I'm getting not all that glitters is gold. So be very careful. Um, the, I'm also getting like a lot of light, airy, fairy energy that's surrounding you. 
at this time. It's almost like you're entering um, the, when I see the new moon energy, I typically feel that it can, it can be very, it's a time of, of self hibernation. Like you're just going within the self to meditate. You're going within the self to, um, to reflect in April, May, and June on the outside in the external reality, it's a time of travel. It's the time of the endings, a lot, a lot of endings, or I should say new beginnings as well. Cause the new moon is, is new beginnings, but you're setting intentions for new beginnings. You have a lot of graduations, a lot of weddings, just a lot of newness. Okay. And during that time, sometimes we can get caught up in pleasure. We can get caught up in the beautiful things. We can get caught up in the joyous, joyful moments. And maybe this is the season to do that, but just be aware that you can get swept away like a tornado coming in and it can uproot you from that strong foundation that you, you know, that we put down, um, in at the beginning of the year. So be heartful, be mindful during this time. You know, like stay centered within yourself and allow the beautiful things to come and surround you, admire them, but you don't necessarily need to, to engulf them and to take them and possess them. April, May, and June is the season of air. You know, breathe in, breathe out. Don't breathe in and then never exhale and don't exhale, but never breathe in. It's a beautiful dance of prana, pranayama, yana, pranayama, prana. <laughs> you know, where you breathe in, breathe out, you inhale, exhale, in, out, in, out. So don't hold on and don't block anything. Just be, okay? Just be. Now, let's, look. oh, and that's probably what it stood for too, the B. <laughs> Just, just be, okay? Next, let's look into the water element. Water element is our emotional subconscious mind, okay? Our, our emotional subconscious being, um, the things, like all that we consume exists there. We can't, consciously we can't keep track of everything that goes inside our subconscious, but, uh, but it's there, okay? So let's take a look, let's pull one and see. Oh, wow. Okay. So between um, July and September. I, um, wow. This is the earth um, rune and water. That's very interesting. So you have earth and water. Huh. Um, so with the water energy here, because you can see the anchors are at the feet. So hold your ground because there's going to be an emotional tug in the human collective. And we've been going through this right now, actually, given that they're, you know, they've, they over sensationalize or the under, or, or they it, either it's the um, mass media is, overwhelming or underwhelming they're underwhelming on topics and 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 uh concepts and things that should have more support and they're overwhelming with things that should not be over sensationalized but that's that's this is kind of like a, almost a warning be anchored emotionally don't allow your emotions collective to swarm and overwhelm you. I think of a hippo, a hippo, a hippopotamus, right? And how large they are and they're excellent swimmers. Okay. And, in rivers, they, you know, and, and, and bodies of water, excellent swimmers. They're very anchored or an elephant crossing the river. They're anchored. They're huge. Have that type of emotional strength and don't be easily swayed between um, the months of uh, July and September. It's very hot. 
between July and September. Usually, yeah, it's very, very hot. Um, September begins to cool down a little bit. Uh, but, you know, that's the time where you need the most water. You need to stay hydrated. You know, treat the body right. <laughs> um, I'm being asked to pull two. Okay. So the first one I have here. Yeah. I'm seeing an energy pulling another it's like ring around the rosy you're just dancing in circles you see the sun and the moon there and you need to not not get swept away in that emotional dance you need to be anchored because it's going to be a, like a, some kind of whirlwind um something's going to grab us and just you know pull us around like do -si doing around and you you better not let go um and then the next one oh wow i have the um broken arrow here so again this is also about strength and this um ties in with the wind energy so you're having your there's going to be some opposition like i see a storm i see the energy standing very firm and then i see two energies literally zipping and moving around this 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 person that's standing in the middle of a twister in the middle of a storm so between um july and september we need to to make sure we're on our our spiritual game okay because we uh, we're emotional sentient beings most people, some people are very like, oh, I'm, look at me, I'm tough as nails. Nothing bothers me. But we, <laughs> we are incredibly sensitive emotionally and we can be emotionally manipulated. So that's why at the core of our human collective in the, in the year 2024, yeah, really, really, really need to be like practice discernment, emotional discernment, discern between what you know if this is your your emotional baggage or someone else's be very very weary of what you're being uh, or what you're consuming um through the industries out here okay through mass media mass entertainment mass this mass that um i'm okay i'm being pulled to talk about mass shootings because that's also a very big thing that's happening i think multiple times a week we'll get you know, the mass media will bring up, you know, or share stories of mass shootings everywhere. And, um, you know, last night I was speaking to a friend of mine and he was stating that, um, you know, it's, it could, I mean, where we were talking about it, it could be like a, a program, if you will, that they're replaying to keep your emotional frequency at a certain space. And so this, when I see this in water, when I see these strong symbols in water, that means that, that there's a possibility of energy or emotional manipulation of the masses. That something or an event or numerous events or different things that happen around the globe will pull and sway us to a certain space. And this is what I meant at the beginning of the year, January, starting January 1st, 2024. You have to have a spine. You have to have backbone. Okay. I'm getting incredible emotion. Like it, uh, 2024 is, is just full of emotion, energy, emotion, that water energy. It's very strong next year. Okay. Um, and so, yeah, so be emotionally centered and be strong there's something in between july and september of next year you got to be you're you got to be on your p's and q's with that okay and last but not least we have the fire energy whoo okay the phrase i hear right now is hot box now I'm getting, I'm hearing the word sauna or sauna. Um, in Canada, they pronounce it sauna. 
uh, Basana is a an old practice, um, Scandinavian practice, where they build this like a sweat lodge, and um, it's supposed to be very purifying. Now, um, is it comfortable? Not quite. Um, so in Scandinavia, they have this. The practice where they go out and um, in like a frozen lake or frozen river or you know a body of water that's been frozen over and they dig a hole and or cut a hole into the ice and then they just dip in there for you know a few minutes and then they get out right it's a shock to the system um, with these extreme low temperatures and then they go directly to the sauna and in the sauna they our sauna um for those of you who are really american um <laughs> and so they go in and um and they they sweat out all these toxins they sweat out all these impurities of the body sometimes i uh, i've been in i've been to them maybe once or maybe three times in my life but sometimes they'll put essential oils in there like a eucalyptus mint, rosemary, a lot of the leafy herbs, mint family herbs in there because they, they pour, they purify the lungs. Um, and they, um, yeah. So what, what is this whole hot box? Like why would the human collective need to sit? Okay. I'm hearing pull two more. Okay. 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 All right. So this is symbolic of the wolf. Animal medicine right there. That's the symbol for the wolf. Um, the wolf medicine that I work with. Okay. And then this is broken cycle, new path. Broken cycle, new path. So what I got from this is in order to follow the the supreme loving guidance we have to burn out what we can't take with us on the new path not everyone will be because this to me is something that's being excluded you see the circle back there and then you see just a block of that that path um, some people are in specific cycles and seasons on their lifeline as known as timeline, but some people, human beings, um, collective, we are, some of us are in specific cycles and seasons of our evolution. And some of us are being pulled to other paths. Okay. I'm not labeling it as this is the right path or the wrong path. I don't believe in that type of stuff. The path that you're in right now is the correct path. If you feel in the core of your being that it's not right or doesn't resonate or you want to change it, then you have to take the initiative to change it. You have to tune into your energy vortex, your, um, your mental, emotional, and physical uh, electromagnetic field. You have to take that initiative to evolve, okay? If, if you feel like your current path isn't the right one or it feels off or it doesn't feel like your own, that you're living in your own story. It feels like you're living someone else's story, then you need to get out of this box. You're not in the right hot box. If you feel like... <laughs> If you feel like you're in a box and you're, cause the square can is, is that four energy and, um, the square is very, it's all about it, it, Like think of a book, right? You have four sides of a page. Okay. Right. In a book. So it's, it, the, the square can represent a narrative or a story. And if you feel like you're not in it, in the right one, then you've, you have to go through some kind of process to burn that old narrative away. That makes sense. You have to, you have to go through a purification process, right? Um, and the word my, I was talking to my friend last night and he was saying how purification and the word purify and purity is misused in um, the monotheistic religions, the people of the book. They they kind of go a bit ape shit with the with the word purity, and I agree wholeheartedly. They do, 
Like you're, you're not, it's, <laughs> it's a bit obsessive with, with the Muslims, Christians and Jews with the whole purifying themselves. Um, you know, it, it, in their way, in their patriarchal approach, it's, it can really, really do a lot of damage. So, um, some of us will have to go through and sit in a hot box. You're going to have to sit in a sauna and go through that transformation. Some of us are, will be at the end of this, uh, this upcoming year between October and December. Um, some of us are going to need to go home because the square also is like foundational. It's, it's the home, right? It's, it's a place. It's a space that has structure that has, you know, four walls, a ceiling. It's, it's almost protection. Some of us will need to go to our spiritual home and reconnect that way. Um, so that is what I'm getting for the year 2024. The web of illusion um, will be challenged. There is a deconstruction of some kind. I will say that uh, the season of earth is, it has the least amount of energy, but is very, very, very profound. If you try to skip a step on the ladder, you will fall. You have to be diligent with the moves that you make with this earth element, my dear collective. Um, with money, with choices that you make, with the seeds that you plant. January, February, March. March, we tend to plant seeds, right? And and that's the boom of that, you know, spring sexual energy of, of flowers and bloom and all that, all that good stuff. And we enter into that in April and May, in June, right? In that air collective. We, we, you know, there's a lot of newness, a lot of joy, a lot of possible um, distraction, right? Um, but... This, this new moon, there's something unsettling about it, something hidden. And, you know, with the distractions of pleasure, it takes your attention away from the what, what's hidden underneath. Like the movie, What Lies Beneath, with, uh, oh gosh, Michelle Pfeiffer and um, Harrison Ford. Like, that's a really good film if you guys are into, uh, psych, you know, psychological thriller type movies. But it, it, that's what comes up. Um, in our water season, um, between a July 1st and September 30th or 31st, I can't remember. But um, in our water season, we have to be emotionally strong. We have to be emotionally strong. We're very, as a collective, very, I think we're, we, we're a bit weak. Um... <laughs> That's just my personal opinion. We're just very uh, susceptible to getting our feelings hurt, you know. And I'm. This is not to say that we shouldn't have our feelings validated. That's not to say that we need to suppress our feelings. This is not to say that we need to project our feelings onto other people. It's be careful to to not allow your emotional status to manipulate your overall path to the point where you lose yourself. Okay. And then we end in fire where you have the sauna, you have, um, because the wolf, that wolf medicine is all about guidance. It's all about the master teacher. And sometimes, you know, you have to let go of old stories, old paradigms and fire is very unpleasant when you're trying to, it's a purifier. Fire is a pure. I mean, all of the elements are purifiers in their own way, in their own right. But with fire, it's you. When you have to burn away a uh, a story or paradigm, it's almost like building a burning. I had a dream about. Ooh, oh, now I thank you, Source. I had a dream about. Uh, uh, I was a, I was approaching this mansion. I mean huge like one of those old mansions in England okay and I was standing on what looked like a uh oh balcony a really large balcony and then I was pulled away 
okay, from the, the mansion, and I saw the mansion as it was, but then the, there was a huge fire that burnt away, that burnt away the majority of the mansion, and what was left was a decent, beautiful looking home. So it's almost like there's a burning of the illusion and that what we believe we think we, we or what we believe what we think we may need in, the, in, in, in these illusions will be burned away. A huge chunk of things that we deemed as important or had purpose will be let go by the end of next year. That is my conclusion for the year of the spider and the web of illusion, okay? May this message find you well and whole. Um, over time, I will incorporate more animal spirit messages because I just have an affinity and connection with that type of medicine. Um, if you have any questions or insights, please leave your comments down below. I will, I, I will read them. Um, and yeah, I, I'm really excited. Um, my future readings will be, so I'll have one per, per um, season. So I'll have a reading for the earth season. I'll have a reading for the air season. I'll have the reading for a water season. I'll have a reading for fire season. This is more primarily, um, an annual reading, um, so it's primarily like for the ether element, um, for the human collective. And then I'll do one reading each month, um, just for a month, a monthly reading. I'm not, I'm not, I, I need to be authentic in how, <laughs> and how it wants to come through. I don't, I'm not trying to appease or appeal to the whole astrology and Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, like all that has some truth in it, but it's not the only way to connect with the messages that are coming through from source. All right, thank you so much for tuning in. I really am very excited for this year. Um, and you know, yeah, and I might just make another video on just the animal medicine of the spider anyway. Um, and that might bring, be a little bit more insightful. Just let me know. Let me know if, if this was comprehensible and thorough enough for you. I will look forward to um, tuning in again with you guys shortly. See ya.